Bienvenidos! Welcome to Spain on a Fork today. We're gonna grab two very basic ingredients, sweet potatoes and canned tuna, and create the most extraordinary breakfast fritters. Guys, these fritters have an explosion of flavors. They're so easy to make and they're done in under 30 minutes. I know I call them breakfast fritters, but they're so good. You can have them for lunch or dinner. Heck, these are perfect for any day of the week. Even if you have a very busy schedule, make a batter the night before, and then the following morning, fry up those fritters for a quick and delicious breakfast. Now to make these fritters, I'm gonna be using one of my personal favorite olives from Apollo. This is their Mistyle Organic Extra Virgin olive. So important to use a good olive to make these fritters. We are gonna fry them on a medium heat, which means that olive is not gonna lose its flavor. In fact, it's gonna transfer into the fritters. This one from Apollo is my absolute favorite one to make these fritters. It gives them such an incredible flavor. Get yourself a bottle, link in the description box below. I'm gonna begin by peeling one sweet potato. This is a medium to large size one. I always like to have either a bowl or some paper towels underneath for an easy cleanup. Then I'm gonna rinse the sweet potato under some cold running water, pat it completely dry, and start shredding the sweet potato. Once again, I like to have a shallow bowl underneath, but you can also do this on top of a cutting board. This just makes it so much easier once you're done to grab those shredded sweet potatoes. Once I have the sweet potato shredded, I'm gonna grab three cups of it and add it into a cheesecloth. And under a sink, I'm gonna try and remove as much of the excess water inside of the sweet potatoes. This is such an important step by removing as much of the water as possible is what gives these fritters that incredible crispy texture. Once I've removed as much as possible of that liquid from those shredded sweet potatoes, I'm gonna add them into a large bowl. Moving on to the next step of the recipe, I'm gonna drain two tins of Spanish tuna into a sieve with a bowl underneath. This is such a great way to remove the oil from the tuna and it makes for an easy cleanup. And I'm gonna gently mix the tuna around with a spoon just to remove any of the excess oil. And add the drained tuna into the bowl with the shredded sweet potatoes. Next, I'm gonna finely shred one large clove of garlic into the bowl. Finally dice half of an onion. Add in a generous quarter cup of the finely diced onions into the bowl. Grab a handful of fresh chives and finely chop them. And once again, add in the finely chopped chives into the bowl. This is about a generous two tablespoons. For the next ingredients, I'm gonna add in a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. You can make these fritters gluten-free by replacing this with gluten-free flour. I'm gonna crack two large eggs into a separate bowl. Beat the eggs until they're well mixed. Add the egg mixture into the bowl with the rest of the ingredients. And we're gonna season everything with a generous half teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika a pinch of fine sea salt, and some freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm gonna mix everything together until it's well combined. This is such an important step. You want all these ingredients to be evenly divided. And as you're doing this, start compacting and pushing down on this. We're trying to make a paste here. Once everything's well mixed and you've created a paste, I'm gonna get in there with a spoon, grab about a quarter cup of the mixture, and using your hands, just form it into a ball. And add it into a piece of parchment paper. And continue to do this until all the mixture is gone. You should end up with nine to 10 balls of this mixture. And again, guys, very important, make sure you add these on top of parchment paper, that way they don't stick. Once you have them all done, start pushing down on each ball. We're trying to make a circular shape that's about half an inch thick. Just make sure you run your hands around it so everything's nice and compact. All right, let's start making our fritters. I'm gonna grab a large nonstick frying pan and heat it with a medium heat. I'm not gonna add any fat into the pan right now. We're gonna heat it between three to four minutes and then add the oil in there. That way it doesn't lose any of its flavor. 
after heating the pan for four minutes on a medium heat, I'm gonna add in a generous two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Again, guys, trying to use a great extra virgin olive oil. It gives these fritters an incredible flavor and instantly start adding in the fritters in there. You want cookies in batches to not overcrowd the pan. After two and a half to three minutes, I'm gonna start flipping the fritters around. Now, I call these fritters, but they also look like patties. Hey, either way you go here, look how insane these look. All right, it's been five and a half to six minutes since I added these into the pan and these should be perfectly cooked. I'm gonna start removing them from the pan, shaking off any of the excess oil and transferring them to a dish with some paper towels. And continue to cook your next batch. And again, guys, you wanna go between two and a half to three minutes on a medium heat. This is enough time to ensure that everything's cooked while giving you that incredible crispy texture on the outside. All right, all our fritters are done. Really quick before I plate this, I'm gonna make a very simple garlic yogurt sauce. I'm gonna grab half a cup of Greek yogurt and add it into a bowl. Shred in one large clove of garlic. Squeeze in half a teaspoon of fresh lemon juice. Pour in one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. And season it with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm gonna whisk this all together until it's well combined. Guys, look how easy it was to make this dip, but it's gonna take these fritters to the next level in greatness. I'm gonna transfer our garlic yogurt sauce into a smaller bowl. Add it into a serving dish and decorate the sweet potato and tuna fritters around the dip. And I'm gonna sprinkle the dish with some freshly chopped chives. Okay guys, our sweet potato and tuna fritters are done. Look how insane this turned out. Let's try it and see how it tastes. Here we go. So good. Those sweet potatoes perfectly cooked combined with that tuna explosion of flavors. That little bit of sweet smoked Spanish paprika elevates the entire fritters. And then that garlic yogurt sauce, wow, it's just incredible flavors inside your mouth. So easy to make, done in under 30 minutes. Like I told you, you have a very hectic schedule. Make the batter, put it in the fridge, and then the following morning you can make your fritters for an incredible breakfast. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.